Hey everybody, it's Robert coming to you with another adventure into history and I'm out here with Mr. Dan and today we're going to be exploring a creepy old house out in the woods. It's probably haunted. If you can see it right behind us, it's a huge old creepy house out here in the woods. What do you know about this place, Mr. Dan? Not a whole lot. Uh, this, you know, growing up around here, this was known as the old Willis place and it was owned by neighbors of ours. <clears throat> in Waverly Hall, uh, Miss Miss Betty uh, Willis Wisnett, and uh, she and her family uh, had inherited this place from an old uncle, is what I was always told. And the the Willises and the Wisnets all kind of used this as hunting areas, and uh, I can remember different people. If if you were friends with the Wisnett family, you would get invited to come down here and bird hunt and and, and such. And it's just been. All my life has looked just like it looked right now. And uh, I think the family has finally come to the point that they're going to uh, sell all this property. And that's, uh, that's how we got permission to come down here, actually. This was an old home here where uh, Mr. Willis lived long, long ago. And I really don't know when he passed away, but it was before I came along. <laughs> gotcha. All right. And this is like, I think it's like 500 acres. Is that That's, right? Uh, I, I really don't know. It's, yeah, it's I think it's, it is a big piece of property out it here. Mm -hmm. So let's uh, let's make our way towards the creepy old house. We actually have, we'll look at the barn first before we go into this old house up here and never come back out. <laughs> it's a cool, nice, crisp morning here in Georgia. <laughs> <laughs> So cool old rock wall right here too. This is this is kind of older, isn't it? With the it is. terraced it's, it's rock terraced. wall. It really is. Uh, you know, it makes me wonder what was here before this because uh, this this goes way on back. Uh, very nice. Yeah. Here's the steps. Oh, sure enough, old rock steps right there. All right, let's. Uh, Oh, that's a field stone chimney too. This house is pretty old. Yes, it is. Let's uh, let's look at the barn first, and then we'll look at the house. It's like, do we want to go to the creepy old barn first, Dan, or do we want to go to the creepy old house first? Maybe we ought to go up to the house and say hello to the folks first. <laughs> that's true. Before we go that's true. in the barn. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Uh, I think we'll be able to use the steps because they're a little overgrown. This is the first terrace right there. Go over the next one. It's a rather substantial yard for such a uh, style of house. Yeah, this looks like like what we would consider like a sharecropper house. I'm assuming that's what you're thinking as well, right? I am, but uh, of course it certainly wasn't a sharecropper who lived here. This was, uh, this would have been Mr. Willis's home. Yeah. Uh, this oh, I get to, great, I get to go first. Yeah. All right. Fieldstone Foundation. Um, Let's, before we go into it, let's walk this way. I just want to look at this chimney real quick from the outside. Because that looks like a... Doesn't that look like an early settlement style chimney there? It does. What's interesting is the chimney looks like an older style than the house looks. Falling back here. And there sure is. This was a dry stack chimney. That's fascinating. This house really does look uh, creepy. It doesn't matter what angle you're at. This is a 
creepy looking house. By the old refrigerator. Ice temp. Ice temp. Progress. Progress? Uh huh. That's the brand name of it. All right. Here we go. Go into the falling down part. Oh, that was, scared me for a minute there. Hmm. All right. I'm thinking that this was probably built in the early 1900s and then sometime in the 1920s, 30s maybe, it was sealed inside with, you know, sealed inside with, with uh, tongue and groove flooring. Uh, you can see right there that the house was originally bored and battened. And you can see that the inside of the house was whitewashed. And someone cut this section out right here because there were honeybees in the wall. They robbed some honey. Uh-huh. But there's, uh, there's right, right there you can see the, the uh, whitewash, the original interior of the house. And then the, uh, the fireplaces were whitewashed. It's, is that plaster on there? Uh-huh. Well, it's, it's, it's not really plaster. It's, it's just layer after layer of whitewash. Oh, wow. In other words, they would dig kaola and mix mix it with water, and they would put another coat on. Gotcha. Every, every, uh, every spring or summer when they would clean the house, they would whitewash something, you know, put another coat of whitewash on it. And that's what this is. Gotcha. It just cleaned things up, made it look neat and nice. Now, what do you think, Dan, about these uh, these chimneys? Because to me, they look kind of like an almost like an early settlement house, whereas the house looks newer than that. I feel like this must have been an early settlement house or the site of one. I believe there might have been something here on this site before this was uh, rebuilt, maybe. Uh, both these chimneys just look like early settlement, especially that one that fell out there being dry stacked. Uh, these were in use, of course, up until Mr. Willis, I guess, passed away. Right. Uh, we know that this house is, was vacant. Uh, my brother-in-law said he used to hunt down here and he remembers that it was vacant in 1961 or 62. So it's been that long that it's been sitting here empty. But, uh, that's, you know, the chimney here is put together with, with mud. Yeah. So that's pretty fascinating. Um, we'll take a look under the house and see if we can't garner anything from there but and especially with the uh terraced lawn out there i think that's interesting um because there's a lot of details in this house that look finer than than like i said earlier like a sharecropper house mm -hmm. that we would consider this normally to be yeah so it's interesting and uh, again you can see this pretty wood that was added later on and the inside of the house was sealed, as Dan said, in the crooked window right there. 
And you got to love the old doors. Here, the old primitive doors. At least uh, we didn't find somebody waiting for us in the chair here, Dan. Uh, not in the chair. Maybe up there. Yeah, I saw that, the attic. There's, um, that's got to be about the longest dirt dauber nest I've ever seen right there too. Other chimney, chimney at both ends of the house. Um, there's the attic that we can't get into. But, kind of stick the camera up there a little bit. Now the construction of the house, again, looks very new. And when I say new, I mean, like Dan said earlier, post, you know, 1900, early 1900s, um, versus these old, old chimneys. It's, it's very interesting. Maybe this place, you know, burned or something and was rebuilt. Um, it's weird for sure. After you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, right. oh, look. Look, uh, look at the entire stump. Wow. Look at that. Petrified. Yeah, it is just about petrified, ain't it? Sure is. Looks like it was cut down, I guess, with an axe. Let me set the light down. I'm gonna touch it. This is an old tree right here. That's for sure. But otherwise, don't see anything that really sticks out under here as far as nothing to me. You see anything that says anything to you, Dan? Not really. It's a... Uh been a lot of pillars were placed under here yeah a lot of floor supports I do see something right there you may not can see it from over there but right over there that room over there uh do you see the weather boarding comes down let me come over there the board and batten there's a child's spoon Oh, that's cool. How old do you reckon that is? That's old. It's not silver, it's, it's brass, silver plated. But uh, it was laying right here. All right, so you were saying. Okay. All right, on the other side of this room here, you see this board and batten here? Yeah. All right, here's board and batten. Right across there. Oh yeah, I see. So. One section of this house is older than the other. Yep. So at one point, either this was a one room house or it was a two room house with a dog trot whole way down the middle. It's kind of hard to tell from here. Let me give you the camera real quick so I can see what that Coke bottle is over there. I think yeah, I did see a Coke bottle in back there. I think it's very modern. Looking out for the rattlesnakes first. <laughs> it's a Columbus, Georgia Coke bottle. Yeah. I'm gonna send it down to you. It's not very old. Oh, and it's broken too. Okay. I'm trying to get out. Let's find out. I want out. Well, what else did you find? Uh, coming out, I found an old piece of something, a piece of saucer. Yeah. Look at the vine up that side of the chimney there. Yeah. It goes all the way up. 
This place is super fascinating. So what do you think about the board and bat? It was, uh, it looks like it comes down on yeah. the wall there, doesn't it? It does. It looks like it was, uh, completely separated, you know, with the board yeah. and batten. Uh, when I'll go back under or look back under when we go around front, so I don't have to crawl as far to get to it. All right. It's that time to look down and see if there's anybody waiting on us down in the well of do doom. Well of doom. It's just, this has been a sleeved well, so. Yeah, they put it down in an older well. Yeah. It goes over to there. Mm. Hmm. See anyone waiting on you down there, Dan? No, I don't see anything that I recognize. It's probably a good thing. It's water with a lot of stuff floating on top of it. You know, being the juvenile that I am, what I've got to do. What you got to do there, Dan? What you doing with that brick? Listen. All right, hold on. Let me get the. Let me get in position here. Get the light on. Here we go. That is a deep well. You've awakened it, Dan. Yeah, let's get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> mm. All right, so now that we're back at the creepy old house, let's look under it where we saw that room that looked like it had been previously divided by the board and the bat. And See, these steps here are relatively modern cinder block and brick versus the old fieldstone steps in the wall. All right, I'll, I'll give you that to hold while I crawl under there and then I'll get it back from you when I go under there. I'll go look at it in just a minute. Look, hurry. You want to take the camera with you? Yeah. Ready. All right, so under here, there's definitely a clear divide between this. So over here on this side, real narrow boards on the floor, different kind of floor joists. Over there on that side, you can see the big, kind of actually modern style floor joist, but they're bigger and uh, floor is wide boards over here but newer newer wide boards and then if you look up here see along this big beam right here and there's the old board and batten would have come off that would have divided this like into one one room like dan said earlier and then like this was added on later which still doesn't add up to the age or what looks like the age of the chimneys I'm going to pass this back to you, Mr. Dan. Okay. I'm going to try to crawl over there where those Coke bottles are. That's a 1958 Coke bottle, right? What is that? <laughs> Oh, that's weird. Here, here. That is strange. You heard that, right, Dan? Yes, I did.
That was weird. All right, that's gonna, that's enough of this old house for a minute. We're gonna go look at something else. Hello. Sounded just like footsteps. That's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> no. All right, you ready to go? Yeah, I'm ready. Not funny at all. No, not cool. Not cool. I told you this place felt creepy. All right, uh, well, we're going to go ahead and get out of here. Um, so I hope you guys have... Alright, that's it. You can Come see, on. You can see all your guys you want. Let's I'm, go. I'm gone. Let's get out of here. <laughs>